okay so firstly we have connected the ic pin here is its notch and the pin numbers are starting from the right hand side pin 1 2 3 4 pin 5 6 7 8 pin 1 the ground pin is connected to the negative rail through the green jumper wire and pin 8 the vcc pin is connected to the positive rail then we have connected pin 2 and pin 6 together and pin 4 and pin 8 together then we have connected uh, 10 microfarads capacitor to the pin 1 and pin 2 of the IC pin 2 is connected to the anode and pin 1 is connected to cathode then uh, we have the output pin we have extended it in the front we have connected LED there uh, where uh, anode is connected to the extended part and cathode is connected to the ground via the negative rail via 1k ohm resistor then we have also connected 1k ohm resistor here between pin 7 and pin 8 then we have potentiometer here we have extended it we have connected it between pin 7 and pin 8 so we have used this so that we can uh, we can vary the flashing rate of the led and i will be using this screwdriver this mini screwdriver to manipulate its flashing rate and lastly we will make use of this battery to power the supply and now let's see the results with the help of the mini screwdriver i am varying the value of the potentiometer which is eventually affecting the flashing rate of the led in this circuit as soon as the supply voltage is connected capacitor will be at zero volts first as we know which means pin 2 will be at zero volt which is less than one third of the voltage so led will turn on which simultaneously will disconnect the connection between pin 7 and pin 1 which will start charging the capacitor and as soon as the charge of the capacitor will reach beyond two third of the voltage pin 6 will detect it and it will turn off the led and simultaneously the connection between pin 7 and pin 1 will get reconnected and it will start discharging the capacitor and as soon as the capacitor value gets below one third of the voltage pin 2 will detect it and it will turn on the led again so like this this cycle will keep on repeating itself and will get the flashing like effect in the led with placements round the corner, Newton School is organizing a grand coding contest to acquaint you with competitive programming which will help you to get placed in your dream company. Compete with the best coders from all around the world and get a chance to win cash and gift prizes worth Rs 10 lakhs. This contest is open for all and will be held on the 31st of March. The registration form is provided in the description below. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to feel the heat, strive for excellence and bring the glory home. Get up and register yourself now. As it is visible in the video, IC555 is used over here. An anode of 5 volt is connected across pin number 3 and 1. Cathode is connected to pin number 3 and anode is connected to pin number 1. Uh, pin number 8 and 4 are shorted. A uh, power supply of 12 volt is connected across pin number 1 and 8. Pin number 6 and 8 are the touch off pins which are extended using the jumper wires. If we touch the uh, terminals of the jumper wire, then the LED will uh, LED's light will go off and the pin number 1 and 2 are the touch on pins which are similarly extended using the jumper wires if we touch pin if we touch these terminals of jumper wire then LED will glow as it is visible in the video IC555 is used over here an anode of 5 volt is connected across pin number 3 and 1. Cathode is connected to pin number 3 and anode is connected to pin number 1. Uh, pin number 8 and 4 are shorted. A uh, power supply of 12 volt is connected across pin number 1 and 8. Pin number 6 and 8 are the touch off pins 
which are extended using the jumper wires. This circuit diagram consists of a, a triple five IC, a BC five four seven NPN transistor, a ten kilo ohm resistor, a buzzer, a reset button, and a nine volt power supply. For detecting the touch of uh, our skin or finger, we have used a conducting wire labeled as touch probe in the circuit diagram. We have connected it to the pin two of the triple five IC, uh, so that whenever our skin comes in contact with the touch probe. Uh, it acts as a ground negative voltage causing pin 2 to detect a voltage less than one third of the supply voltage because of this pin uh, 2 turns uh, on the output the buzzer rings for a moment in order to keep the output latched even after the finger is removed from the uh, touch probe pin 2 must sense less than one third of the supply voltage in order to do that uh, we have used a transistor to invert the output signal and pass it to pin 2. Uh, so now immediately after pin 2 senses a contact with the touch probe, it turns on the output momentarily. This activates the transistor and in turn it applies 0 volts at pin 2, thus keeping the output continuously in on state. To reset the circuit that is to turn off the alarm or buzzer, we need to apply a positive voltage at pin 2. Therefore we have used a push button. So by pressing the momentary push button, switch exactly does that.